Hi guys, here's our DIY tutorial of our hanging shelf. There it is finished. And we collaborated with designer stencils. We used their Karma Mandala item number FS026. Then we used Coeur d'Alene wood for our shelf pieces. I placed the stencil over the top of two planks. And then I used gold paint to do around the edges. I just like the idea of the gold and the white together. So here I am finishing up the gold and doing it only in certain spots on the stencil. And now I'm gonna switch over to white and I just fill in the rest of the stencil. And there it is finished. And pulling off the stencil. I just absolutely love how this looks on our wood. It's so pretty. But remember, I didn't do it on just one piece of wood. It's on two. And then there's our three levels of our shelving unit. Now, time for the creation. I measure out the holes prior do one inch in, one inch from the top and the side. I would recommend doing your stencil after this part, only because if your board breaks, then you'll have to redo your stencil again on a new board. Remember that if you're working on a dining table like I am, to not drill right through your dining table. There's the pieces with holes. Now I'm measuring out the pieces of rope. I cut mine at 42 inches, two pieces. I have big fabric scissors and this was really hard to cut. I had to use a razor blade. And then I always hot glue the ends so it doesn't unravel. There's the two knots on the bottom shelf. And then I usually measure up about seven or eight inches up to get uh, the next level of my shelf. And you will see me doing a lot of measuring because I need those knots to be in the exact same spot on each piece. Otherwise, your shelving is not gonna sit straight. So it's really important to get that measurement just right. Now going up to the next tier. You might not wanna put your knots really tight in the beginning, just so that you do have room to adjust if you have to loosen them up. Time for the last piece. Now to go back through the other side. I created a loop at the top, about 12 inches long. And then worked my way back down 
definitely could have used an extra set of hands. I, I recommend having somebody help you at this point. And then once my knots are adjusted, I do hot glue the center of them. That allows the knot to stay put, especially if you have heavy items sitting on the shelves. And I'm just repeating the same process at the same length. And then I had quite a bit left over, so you, you might have to cut some off at the end. Having it longer is always better. There's our three tiers. And then I also made a little key holder to go underneath my shelf. Marked out where I wanted the knobs. And those little knobs, I actually painted gold to match the gold on the stencil. Kind of had a rustic and modern mix there with the hardware. And there it is finished, hanging up. I love the live edge piece. I would hang this a little lower so that you could see the design, but I just love how it looks. And there it is all accessorized. So cute. Thanks for watching you guys.